that's the comeback role the world is raving about. After several years in the wilderness following his well-documented dramas, Mel Gibson is front and centre in a gritty new action drama that has critics and fans tripping over themselves with superlatives when describing his acting performance. Then there's the movie Mel's been directing in Australia. Let's catch up with Mel Gibson to talk about Bloodfather, Hacksaw Ridge, and a whole lot more. Yeah, you want to see crazy? I'll tell you. <laughs> the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Sorry about yesterday, mate. We're in a great price. Frank Dunn. His career spans four decades and has seen him starring in a variety of genres, leaping to international fame and glory in the iconic Australian film Mad Max. They say people don't believe in heroes anymore. And Gallipoli. First of the pyramids. Okay, you're on. Then Hollywood came a calling, and our boy was everybody's favorite lethal weapon. What do you got, Riggs? There's three down, there's one loose in here. He's got black hair and a red shirt. Okay, let's go. It appeared that Mel really liked to mix it up, showing his range and diversity as an actor. Hamlet, Bird on a Wire, Maverick, and of course, Braveheart. That they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. Braveheart won five Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director for Mel Gibson. I don't write speeches. Uh... And the rest is, of course, history. Now Mel has two projects in the headlines. The first, the action thriller, Bloodfather. About a guy who's had a rough life, tattoo artist, been in prison, substance abuser. Uh, gets a second crack at being a good parent. Missing Link tattoo. I'm here. I need cash fast. Yes, I am dead. Just stay put till I get there. How is it for a director when he's directing an Oscar-winning director? I think he had fun. And I, I'm not, you know, I don't impose myself on anything. I'm just kind of like trying to figure out what he's trying to do. And he had a definite point of view. And it was interesting because he, he's from France, you know, Jean-Francois Richer. I mean, how much more French can you get? But he, um, he had a very interesting... Uh, angle on the American culture. I just met the girl for the first time in years. I just don't feel like handing over to a bunch of strangers. You ever tap him on the show and say, now listen here, Jean-Francois. <laughs> this, this is the way we're going to do it. Leave my girlfriend alone. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, it was, uh, no, nah, it was cool. He's cool. He knows what he's doing. I always dreamed about being a doctor, but uh, didn't get much school. The second project, directing and shooting a World War II epic here in Australia, Axel Ridge. So this guy gets sent to war, but in the infantry, but yeah. doesn't want to have a gun, and, and yet wins all sorts of accolades. Without a weapon, and going into that stuff, and saving everyone's life, and stuff. amazing story, and true story. Oh, I'm sorry, Sergeant, I can't touch a gun. She don't kill. No, sir. You know, quite a bit of killing does occur in war. Does it make you a better actor, being a director as well? I think it does. I think actors generally make pretty good directors. I mean, there's a history of that that's, you know, pretty impressive. You won an Oscar for directing Braveheart. Right? Yeah, way back, yeah. And uh, directing really is that, you know, that's as much fun as you can have standing up. Help me. You'll have to trust me. You better come home to me. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Yeah, Mel is back big time. Bloodfather is in cinemas now, and it's getting rave reviews, as I said. It opened on Thursday. Uh, four stars here on the show last Thursday. And, uh, and Hacksaw Ridge, uh, which Mel directed, um, hit cinemas in November. So He's keeping very busy, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's, he, he loves his work, and he's great at it, and he's so, I love his passion, you know? Yeah. And one of the all-time great voices. Isn't oh, yeah, and a great laugh, that <laughs> evil laugh. He does a good <laughs> evil laugh, doesn't he? He does mad very well, yeah. yeah. I loved him ever since Tim. Remember he played yes. Tim, and I was just a boy, and yeah. it took specific interest, obviously, because it was my name. Mm. But mm. I don't think he's performed badly in anything. No. But, it really, but it really mixes up the genres. Oh. Gallipoli's the one for me. Yeah, I go. saw that again recently. It still brings me to tears every single time. Run like a leopard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Thank Richard. you, Dickie. Well, the scoreboard was tight, and the judges.